G'day. Today we're doing a transmission service on a Toyota Tarago, an 86 model. It's got the A42DL automatic transmission in, in it. So we're just going to take the pan off. Uh, there's a drain plug here which makes it a little bit easier. And all the access is from behind the driver's seat. Before you remove the pan, um, just make sure you clean around here where the filler tube sort of comes in there. There's a little o-ring in there, so it's important to have that clean as well. Now these sometimes get a, an oil leak on the output shaft. The way you check if that's leaking is that the oil level in the transfer case will be up too high because the, the output shaft is probably about up, up there where my hand is and the level for the transfer case is down here so we'll just check that now yeah, it look? no it's on that mark hang on just take it off here so we're up there yeah, it's just defoiled so it doesn't look like it's leaking in there so there's a leak somewhere else Okay, we've got the pan off, and now just looking at the, these are the A40 series transmissions. Um, they've got different filters which identify which one it is. So we'll just take a note of which one that is, and we'll have a look in the book. Yeah, now if we have a look in the, in our uh, parts book, you can see that that one corresponds to the H the last one on the right there. If we have a look down here to the filters and match the part number, it's the A43DE, the A44DE, A46DE. You can see the magnets here, how contaminated they are, and there's also little flecks of the friction material in here. Uh, the, the friction lining. These transmissions don't have bands, they just have clutch packs. Now you can check this little o-ring here, it's actually flattened out so we're going to replace that as well. So it's a good idea. Um, you don't get any uh, muck in there if that o-ring's sealing properly or splashing. you're putting the filters on just make sure that you've got a gasket on there as well on this one the gaskets actually stuck on the old filter so sometimes you can reuse it if it's not stuck or damaged so we'll probably damage that by the time we get it off so just best to put another another filter and gasket on a little bit tricky getting the filler tube on um, but you've got to support it as you put it in and then you might have to just pull it in there Put a bit of oil on that o-ring just so it slides on a little bit better and it's important to get all the All the bolts in the pan before you bolt it up tight Because of that uh, filler tubes pulling it to the side There we go just taking it for a test run uh, we'll just check that there's no oil leaks, everything's on well. A little bit fiddly filling the oil up uh, under the driver's seat. Uh, but yeah, if you just do it carefully. We've got a, uh, a long hose that we stick in, in through the filler tube. Um, and it stops um, the airlock when you're putting the oil in. If you're doing it with a funnel, you've got to do it pretty slowly. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is these transmissions have a pressure cable, so you can you can adjust the pressure um, on the transmission via that cable. It's right next to the the adjustments right next to the accelerator cable. Anyway, I hope that's helped. A very simple transmission to do a service on. No adjustment. It's just basically clean the pan magnets, uh, which is very important and uh, the filter, replace the filter. Anyway, thank you for watching.